Hi everyone, today is 8th of November 2018. This is second video about how to become an expert in C++ language. More specifically, I will explain how to read ISO C++ standard specification while working draft. ISO C++ standard specification is quite challenging for new C++ learners. However, if you have some intermediate level of C++ language, reading ISO C++ standard specification is not that difficult if you understand recursive descent parser tree. If you can read, understand recursive descent parser tree, then you can read and understand ISO C++ standard specification. If you can read C++ specification or working draft, then you can understand more than your books can teach. ISO C++ standard specification and working draft are the best source to learn C++ language. In this book, Programming Principles and Practice Using C++ 2nd Edition by Van Stroustrup. In page 189, you can find this kind of syntax, and it is called Recursive Descent Parser Tree. If you can read and understand this kind of Recursive Descent Parser Tree, you can easily read and understand ISO C++ standard specification. From early stage of learning C++ language, please pay special attention to this recursive descent parser tree. The ability to read and understand this recursive descent parser tree plays very important role in your later stage of learning C++ language. If you can read and understand this recursive descent parser tree, you can actually understand any programming language. Also, it enables you to read more advanced text or literature about the C++ language. This is the standard C++ website. From this website, I will click a link here. And you can see how C++ new standard, C++ 20A or 20 standard will introduce new features like this. From this page, click this link, for example. Then you can see wording paper for C++ extension for concept. Here, you can see this kind of recursive descent parser tree. If you understand recursive descent parser tree, reading and understanding this document is very simple. In fact, these are all recursive descent parser tree. If you can understand this syntax, reading and understanding C++ standards specification is not that much difficult. The author of this book, Van Stroustrup, introduced this recursive descent parser syntax to explain what is expression. Don't let recursive descent parser syntax intimidate you. It might look a little bit overwhelming at first, but if you try it, it's not that difficult to understand. I will try to explain this concept in this session. Expression can be a term. Please read this like the expression can be a term. And this line expression can plus with another term. And read this expression can be a term. Or expression can be expression plus term. Or expression minus term. Then in this syntax, this expression is called grouping or it is called non-terminal. Don't concern much about what is non-terminal or grouping symbol. In this expression, term is not defined yet, so we define term here. Term can be primary, and term also can be term times another primary. And term can divide by primary. Read this syntax like this. Term can be primary, and t or term can be term times primary, or term can be term divided by primary. So we define the term here, then we have to define primary. Then we define primary can be a number. So we, ha we have to define number. Number can be floating point number. So this explains what is expression. And this structure is called recursive descent parser tree. 
we now understand that expression can be term or expression can be expression plus term or expression can be expression minus term this is called actually left recursion and again term can be a primary or term can be term times primary term can be term divided by primary so we define term and we have to define primary primary is number and then number is floating point number we can also define here expression primary can also be parentheses enclosed expression then this syntax includes expression can be enclosed by parentheses this is what this syntax means recursive descent parser tree means in this case we can extend this syntax pass tree floating point number can be an integer proceeding point and also floating point number can be an integer proceeding point and following another integer so we define floating point number then we we define integer can be a digit and integer can proceed another digit like this we define the integer then we define digit can be 0 or 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so we define the expression whole expressions like this statement can be just a semicolon statement can be expression follow semicolon this is simple statement then we can create a statement list stmt list statement list can be statement and statement list can follow can follow another statement and statement can also follow blocked state, statement list enclosed with parentheses like this then we can define program program can be empty string and program can follow statement list stmt list so we define the whole program using recursive descent parser syntax if you can read and understand recursive descent parser syntax you can visit c++ standard home page and download the most recent working draft like this and open it in your pdf reader then you can understand latest development of C++ language. You can understand anything you want. For exa example, these are all statements about the definition about the statement or definition about the expressions. You can read these documents. You can read ISO C++ document. Also, it helps you visit the C++ standard organization's website and read more advanced documents for example what is contract then you can open the web page the document you can read all these papers and the documents you can we can read all these you can understand all these specifications in c++ standard so at early stage of learning c++ language please pay special attention to recursive descent parser syntax understanding recursive parser syntax enables you understand the C++ standard and helps you understand any programming language. The best way, the easiest way to learn recursive parser syntax and proficient with it is learn Python and Flex. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and watch this series of video Python and Flex on window. Also, in this series of videos, how to implement go to and function in scripting language, by watching these videos, you can learn recursive descent parser tree and also you can create your own scripting language. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.